Hello, my beautiful, last and lucky Pisces Ascendant. My apologies for being a little bit late, as it is 2.50 a.m. And I know you know when it's late, because you can tell. The voice is slightly husky. The eyes are slightly possum -y. A good possum eyes, because it's late. Good day, good morning, how are you? I will wake up slightly just for you and pretend it's four not 2.50 a.m. Thank you very much for being here. So this is not for Pisces, Sun and Moon. Please don't take it the wrong way, Pisces, Sun and Moon. I just want you to take the best out of my information. So please check your Ascendant and if you can, click on the link below. There will be a Cafe Astrology link somewhere in there. You can generate a free chart just using your time of birth and your place of birth and find out for sure. Otherwise, if you're already knowing that your Pisces Ascendant is indeed Pisces, why watch this video? Well, how are you? You happy? No? Let's watch this video. Okay, let's do this video first. So basically, you've come in to give nothing but evolve everything. And there's like a little magic blooming blooming thing that kind of comes in and goes and shifts away. I'm sorry for the eccentric nature. It might be a little bit offensive depending on your stars. I hope it is not too bad. So basically you guys have come in to do very little and give us lots because on the other side you got Virgo, you got hardworking Virgo. So whatever you leave behind in your descendant is keepers. It's for keepers and it's likely it's lasting or it's very giving back. You are seeding something without actually putting the seed in, but the garden grows full and blooms well. In any case, if you're an ascendant in Pisces, to be weary is to be right. Uh, you need to be weary in any case if you are taking too much time. Uh, you need to be very wary if you are listening too much to people talk without your own conclusions about them. Uh, you need to be extremely aware if people are not listening to you. And if people are not talking with you, they're talking at you. Because you've already done the seeding, you just need to go. When you are here, you have to very, very much know and need to understand where you are. Where are you? If you are here... You are here, you are here, you are here. If you are not here and you're wondering when is the time rolling over, I need to go, oh my gosh, these people, I can't, I can't, you need to leave. Even if you work there, that's your entry. You get nervous, you get like, mm -mm 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 -mm. you got to go. If you even like this person, if you like terribly love this person, you terribly love them. Because a part of you is a rock star, like meatloaf type of thing. He's not the same, but you know, meatloaf. Oh, love meatloaf. You love these people. You know, you love these people, but you need to regulate your mind. And it will never be like, oh, he'll be this way today and another way tomorrow. I'll make him. Because you can. You can. Say you're a Pisces ascendant, you walk into someone's life. And you can see this woman can't actually look me in the eye because she's embarrassed to be with me today. And then you can do something like, la 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 la, you are nice. And she's like, oh, I am nice. You're very nice too. And suddenly she's like, oh, you're dreamy. You make me feel feeling, feeling. I feel for you. Oh, wow, great. And she looks at you with these amazing eyes and she goes, I love you for the day. She goes to bed. She can't even remember your name. So be careful. You're powerful. You come in, you can shift realities. You can go, ha, 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 look, this goes here and here. A brand new dimension for everybody involved. But you need to be careful. Why? Well, because if you're looking to seed things that are not real, mm -mm, they will give you brain things. Because a descendant in Virgo, for instance, if you are seeding an idea, and quite frequently, you guys are in the middle of something, and people are like, "Yeah, what are you gonna, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? I want to know more." So basically, you're in the situation where people are looking at you with these starry-eyed feelings, and they're like, "I need you, I just do." And you've got to be like, "Okay, pacing, pacing myself." Okay, and if you're an executive or some kind of leader, 
you got to know what you're going to do and you got to know it inside and you know it inside and you feel it and you know it. You checked all the data, you checked everything. Bad politicians, any politicians, fabulous and ascendant and Pisces. How come? Ah, oh, okay. What am I going to say? Okay, okay, remember, remember, I'm going to say we're going to build a wall just for effect, like a joke. Okay, fine. We're going to build a wall. And suddenly everything lights up. And you know what else we're going to do? And somebody goes, well, what about... Yeah, we're going to do that too. And this. And then, and then we're going to all do that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that felt good to say all that stuff out loud. Oh, my God. Okay. You are the phenomenon the phenomena of uh, reform uh, because you already done it you've got Aquarius in your 12th house hopefully or basically maybe you've surpassed your own expectations in some way and you've come out and you're like oh my god I'm beautiful and quite frequently you guys are at least in some way in early years early age when you first come out you're like the cutest little bundle of cuteness and this can make you um, somebody that can be very easily led by other people, interestingly, because people are like, that's the cutest person ever. And you're like, I am? Oh, I'm the cutest. Oh, that's right. My mom used to tell me all the time. I'm the cutest person ever, and I'll give you everything you want. And sometimes when you do this, and you're like, everybody loves me when I talk like this. And you cannot change. You cannot shift. You can, If you cannot shift, and you think expectation, and i got to do that, it's like a reform is impossible, because... You're not reforming yourself. So basically, you need to, in some way, process or possess a new feeling. It's going to sound weird. And it's not going to sound good, but it is good. Okay. Well, you're sitting down and you're thinking, I'm Pisces Ascendant Maria. Or like, I'm Pisces Ascendant Julia. I need to do this thing. But I have to feel it. And hear. And know it. And hear. And understand it and my God energy, you know, because you guys always have God energy, something happening. I need to see it and other people and I need to feel. <laughs> my nose is very long. It's terribly long. I need to feel it and other people and I need to understand that it's possible. I need to, I need to get the best idea, the biggest clue and the most solid foundation for everything that I am. Every freaking night, if you can't. And it's difficult. The more solid that you are, the greater you grow. You get all the facts right? Doctors, perfect for this ascendant. Doctors, lawyers, get everything right, get everything complete, get everything, all the data checked, everything to the point we've been sitting all night thinking about it. And then the morning comes, you have two hours sleep, you wake up, you're like, and then, hang on, I'm going to check my, yeah, that's right, we've got to build, no, we're not going to build a wall, is she going to do this? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I got carried away the other day. So basically, you guys have to be very, very straight in terms of what you're doing, how you're doing, who's benefiting, who's not. The black and the white of every situation, every situation has to be seen completely before you start anything. And this means stories with people, stories with the environment, stories with anything. They have to be completed before they're done. Even thought of, for example. For example. Okay, so everything that ends has to be thought about. Okay, for instance, my partner left, which is quite frequent for ascendants and uh, Pisces. Even if they don't leave in person, they leave. It's quite frequent. My partner's left or left or like he's passed on. My wife is no longer there. Something like that. It needs to be said and thought and felt and needed to express inside. I need no more of it then. Mm, you need to start and think and blah, 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 blah. Even when you're finishing an assignment and you've got a lot of paper to burn, you're like, ah, I'm going to throw it. No, you don't throw it. You've got paper. You've got to consciously dispose of the paper. You've got to think. Gonna go to the recycling bin. Do the recycling people pick it up? Yeah, sure. But what's the best recycling company? What is the way with the recycling anyway? And you can get very good at simple topics like that. You know, recycling. You know, uh, 
monogamy, polyamory. You could be like the top fucking person, guru to see about things because you know it, because you wanted to see and understand. Why? Because you wanted to end something. Mm -hmm. Your descendant is Virgo and sometimes, uh, quite honestly, things don't make sense and can't quite complete themselves unless you know them word to word. He said this, I did that. It would actually not be true, but it would probably be nice to have cameras in the house. Or to deeply think about what you've said every time you had a domestic argument or each time you were on the phone. It would be very nice to have it all down packed simply because you are not very easy to understand otherwise. If you are not completely justified in everything as it imagined itself through you, around you, within and without you, if you're not justified in your outcome and your descendant, you are nowhere. And this makes you a crook, or that makes you a guru of the magic. No, 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 I live nowhere, I don't have a job, I don't have a partner, but I'm here and I'm free. So basically for you guys, it has to be very, 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 maybe simple. You might even need to maybe recommend it to yourself to have a very simple person with you at all times, just to let yourself be heard. Okay, hang on, hang on. An advisor, like a politician. Hey, so uh, we filled out the paperwork. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and we did all the accounting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we forgot something. Ah, I forgot. My wife wanted a sandwich. Didn't buy her a sandwich. That's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. We need to get the sandwich. You have to get the sandwich because you promised it. Yeah, that's right. Let's sw swing by the shop, get the sandwich, give it to her. What's next? Task him. You need to task the day ahead. No, 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 no. Well, because before, remember, you didn't task your day and you turned up, you went right. Ah, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Things like that have to happen all the time in order to give you the best positions in the environment, the best positions in your bedroom, <laughs> the best positions with people, and the best position with yourself. Because the more you can give it all a name, a number, sign it off, put it into little paragraphs, put it into structure, put it into some kind of a form, the more you got to give, because you got to always give. And the Ascendant is basically the dream enters. And uh, one thing is, if you don't like how you've entered, it's because you don't like how you left. You left somebody crying at the bus stop and you said, huh, see ya, I don't care, bye. That's very likely. That's very, very, very cruel, but that's very likely. If you notice, that's a classic politician thing to do. You know, the things come out at the end. See you later. That's very, very, very cruel. And that's very, 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 very untrue. So if you're in the end situation, you know that person's not going to give you anything. They don't know anybody. You can do anything to this person. It's a hard decision to make because, you know, nobody's going to suffer, just that person. Who cares? When you're in that position of power and you're playing with reality on that such a big scale, when you know that person or the dog or that cat, they're not going to ever tell anybody what you've done when you are there and you leave them behind or you walk away and you you know what I mean you show your darkness because nobody ever gets to see it otherwise you know and you're going I can abuse that person you know say uh, this is gonna be very 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 bad perhaps to say but this is how come people go overseas for Trafficking, you know, trafficking of people. That's why it happens sometimes because people they go I Have no way of exposing this. This is not gonna come out. I Can do anything I want for this person or like this picture or this Happy little cat or dog. That's not gonna be very happy in a minute. You know what I mean that kind of thing cruelty If you're feeling that and you're walking away and you're like, huh Oh gosh, that felt kind of good. That's not good. You need to start owning up. If you ever walked away and you didn't bless or you snarled at the waitress and you went, huh, where's my tea? It's late. You know, anything like that. If you're becoming that person over time, what happens is very cruel. The face changes. 
the face changes, the walk changes, the nose grows, the hair falls out, you know, the breasts become saggy, the skin becomes weak. Things like that happen very, very, very easily for anybody with an ascendant in Pisces, um, especially because they're not integral at the end of the day. If their endings are not integral, their beginnings cannot be. So the first beginning, what is that? Entering the room, the first impression. What's wrong with this face? What's wrong with this impression? Well, integrity. Integrity. Oh my gosh, my nose has grown so much since I was 12. What is it? Integrity. Integral feelings. What happened? And tell it to yourself, what do you associate with the nose? Like, for example, if you're somebody who grew a very, very big, like, lower part of the face, it's usually because of um, yourself not wanting somebody else to be smiling or be free. If you are growing something like very, very strange wrinkles on your forehead very, very early on, maybe you are pretending, pretending to feel and making your face a mask that moves that doesn't need to, you know, or like say, um, if you've got eyes and your eyes are getting very, very wrinkly underneath, you know, if you're Pisces Ascendant and you're wondering, what the hell, I'm using all these creams and I can't help myself, but I'm sagging in here, you know, perhaps you're not calling yourself the real thing, maybe you're not calling yourself the real thing that you actually see inside, and your hands are telling too, Everything that you are tells, and that goes for pretty much everybody in the universe, but you especially, because Pisces makes its own dream. So look at how you're formed, what you need to learn, everything, every single little wrinkle, every single little sign on your face, especially, um, in your head, uh, everything tells a little tale. So tell yourself a new one if you don't like what you see, and uh, examine everything you've got. Um, enough funny situation where you never want to leave. Say so you're a Pisces Ascendant and you never want to leave. Like you want to keep the show going. You want to keep it going. Don't leave. I know you don't love me but you can't leave because I'm happy. Okay, in that situation you got to go and do research about anything else. Fix that in on the show. I'm going to keep that show going and going and going and nobody's playing anymore. Like, people not showing up, like, stage decorations are falling apart, but you're like, I need to keep it going and going and going, so basically you need to find yourself elsewhere. For example, we can go under the moon, sit under the stars, look at the stars. <gasps> That's Orion. I knew I was boring. Okay, fine. What else you want under the stars? I might want to mm, do some weird things with people, have some cuddles, a cuddle puddle, something like that. No, no, no. Okay, so you've got a show, like you've got, say, something of responsibility, and you might want to just go, Wah! everything's boring, it's just a show. I'm going to make all the little cogs turn. And you guys are experts in using, like, spirits and demons to make things work for you when they're not meant to. And basically, you need to start learning for instance, you might get a book ah, on the shelf. You're at the library at someone's house. Just take the book. What is it? Psychology. <laughs> Psychology. Let's make it your little assignment. Okay, I can use this one day. Oh, I can use this one day. You know, I say, you, you might think, oh, yeah, Thomas used to tell me that psychology wasn't interesting. Oh, form, okay, okay, okay. You might get enthralled. And just for an, uh, an hour or half an hour, just look at the psychology book. Look at the psychology book. That will make your brain less narcotic. <laughs> less narcotic and more straightforward. And then eventually your decision with the show will come to an end. You'll actually be like unwinding your brain for something that you're actually suddenly genuinely interested in. And then maybe for a few minutes you explore another thing. And maybe you have a look at biology. You have a look at something else. But keep your brain ticking because otherwise... You can hit a lot of walls and you can make a lot of interesting karmic issues, but unfortunately for us, unfortunately for us, with Pisces Ascendant, not likely you're going to string out a lot of lives here because when you're here in a Pisces, it's like you're just worshipping reality. You're worshipping the way things are. You're making it kind of here, kind of there. 
you wield in a new form of human, you're just almost like at the end. You're like, I'm at the end, I'm almost at the end. You just got to keep yourself calm and centered. Um, thank you very much for being here. I hope you don't mind me saying all these things about you. I truly have enjoyed it. I enjoy exposing things and I'm not sure if you do as much as I do, but here we are. We meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. I write music, you know. Weird, eh? I got some music out there. I'm not quite sure exactly why. Uh, but it's there. And I'd like you to see it. I've also got um, a lot of issues with myself, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, I've got a lot of interesting things that are coming up. Uh, I have a lot of fear that's turning into love. And I've got a lot of freedom that's becoming a fact. Thank you very much for being here. I do want a reading, though. You may. Uh, you may not. It's up to you. It's really decisive on that side, not on this side. I'm just I'm just the messenger. So let me know if you'd like a reading, if you'd like to know more um, in terms of your relationships or where you're going or how come you're still there and why you're not doing the other thing and why you're on this planet. Uh, let me know and I'll hook you up. It's all in the comment section below and I'll see you another time.